The last time we talked about Aaron, it was three weeks ago, and Aaron claims she heard a demon whisper, Mommy. After making a lot of content surrounding this demon, Aaron stopped talking about it for a few weeks. Aaron refers to it as a demon. She said it's not playful and it's not nice. Right after Christmas, Aaron did give this update on the demon. I'm still getting asked about if we've had any other paranormal stuff and nothing, nothing, nothing bad has happened at all. Like no weird noises, no like light flickers, no TV turning on, no alarms going off. Everything's been totally normal. That was the update she gave in December after Christmas. She gives another update in January and things have changed drastically. She's having weird dreams. There are bruises all over her right arm. She said she feels it's coming from her bathroom. She said that's where she feels the energy. But remember, the demon spoke to her in the living room and said, Mommy, in the living room. And she is telling the story about how she was talking to Nick, and she was telling Nick how she wishes Nick was there to experience what happened to her in the living room. That because it was the scariest thing I think that has ever happened to me. Erin said she recapped the story for Nick about what happened in the living room, and it was so stupid to do that because once you cast something out of your house, you're not supposed to give it any attention. You're supposed to just move on with your life and forget about it, but here she is talking about it again. She recapped it with Nick, and then she's on Instagram telling her viewers about it. After her conversation with Nick, she took CBD and went to sleep, and she talked about how well she sleeps now that she's taking CBD. I wake up, which is so not normal for me. I wake up, and I'm going in and out of these weird dreams. Did not take any melatonin. I'm going in and out of these bizarre dreams. I'm like halfway in a nightmare, and then I'm up for 30 minutes, and then I'm halfway in a bizarre dream, and then I'm all of this cycling all night long and it ended with a terrifying nightmare which had a I don't even want to say it out loud she doesn't want to say it out loud because she thinks that it opens up a bunch of stuff but she is saying it out loud and she said she is saying it out loud because she has to get this off her chest because last night was horrible I'm looking in the mirror, like, before I get in the bath, and I see this huge bruise on my arm. I showed y'all, like, I've been having them all over me. Like, here's another one. This is just from a couple days ago, and they're non-stop. Constantly having bruises, and they're always on my right arm. And the strange thing about it being my right arm is that that's where I feel. This room right here is always where this is coming from. So she's pointing to her bathroom and she said she always feels the energy in there every night. But remember, Erin sitting in her living room before Christmas and the demon was speaking to her in the living room. And at one point, Erin asked her cat if she was the demon. It's always where I feel it. It's where I like feel the energy or whatever. I can't believe I'm saying this out loud. This is so stupid. This is exactly what you're not supposed to do. Next, Erin starts talking about a crystal that she has in the bathroom, a crystal that she bought just for looks. She doesn't believe in crystal powers, and she's had that crystal since their house in Austin. But what is it about this bathroom? Erin then posted this comment from a viewer. The bathroom is probably the hot spot because isn't that the room where the mold was the worst? And if it and the mold are related, then I don't know, which is why you keep feeling pulled in. And so what I'm saying is like, it's always the right arm that has the bruises. It's like it's pulling me in there. Then Erin laughs and says, all of this could just be because she's anemic. I'm anemic, so. There's that too. Nick shatters that blue crystal Aaron was talking about, throws it in the trash, and then he grabs this one and says, what about this one? Aaron says, so that one is decor. Aaron says, I don't deserve this man. He just goes along with whatever. It's kind of funny that Aaron said Nick just goes along with whatever because people on Reddit, people on gossip threads always say that about Nick. Aaron has probably read some of that gossip online about Nick and she agrees with it. She said he just goes along with anything. 
People online were saying, well, at least we can agree this is getting to be her standard level of content now. And kept saying she shouldn't be talking about it. Oh, and the demon is pulling her into the bathroom? Uh, what? This must be why I have a bruise on my arm. The crystal demon. So many mirrors in there. Yeah, mirrors and crystals and OMG. Why am I saying this out loud? Why? Y'all, I am not exaggerating. I thought she cast those demons out in the name of Jesus. Now they're physically assaulting her? Recently, Erin was in the bathroom and she was filming like she always does in the bathroom. She was putting oil on her face or something and Nick walks by and kisses her on the neck and Erin pulls away. Hi. Are you on camera? Yeah, and I have oil. Stop! God. We've seen Aaron pull away from Nick before. We've seen Aaron roll her eyes at him and say, whatever, Nick. Pretty soon after Aaron posted that video of Nick kissing her on the neck, Aaron posted this to Instagram. I had oil all over my face and didn't want his beard all in it. Sometimes I just want to do my skincare in peace. Of course, I let him kiss me, but also give me my space while I'm oiling my burnt off skin. Some people think Aaron reads Reddit, and some people think this response was a reaction to what they were saying about her on Reddit. People online were saying, how does she have time for homeschooling when she's on Reddit all day? Stay bothered, queen. She brings the snarking on herself. We all know we can be annoyed with our significant others or can catch us in the wrong moment when we don't want them all over us. But all she shows is how horribly she treats him. It would be different if she had a healthy balance of both. But it's constant shit talking, constant annoyance with him and not wanting him to touch her. Then gets defensive when people make comments, but you don't have to share it. I'm not saying you have to be all mushy and show some PDA, but maybe don't always show things that do make it seem as if you can't stand the guy, if you don't want it talked about. She didn't have to post this one. Like, it was a new story, and it didn't contain anything but her cringing. He appeared in the previous story, but this one could have easily been left out. She was so annoyed that he showed her affection. Sis even yelled, stop, as he tried to show more affection. This man has worked his absolute ass off to make her happy, and she complains about every little thing. Brand new beautiful doors installed, and the first thing she does is make fun of how bad the handles look. Then he has some unfinished stuff in the house that he's still working on, and she's rude about that too. Talking about, when will you get to it? Do you have a date? I'm tired of her rude complaints. It's one thing to ask, but to make such big deals out of things like this is so ridiculous to me. Nick hired another company to do a lot of the painting. And I wish we wouldn't have because they cut a lot of corners and with paint, if you know much about paint, when they cut corners, it really screws you. Erin complains that her drawers were not painted all the way. So when you pull the drawer out, the side of the drawer that doesn't show unless you pull the drawer out wasn't painted. And she rolls her eyes and tells the paint company to grow up. <laughs> they fixed that, but like grow up. Do you think the paint company was cutting corners by not painting the side of her drawer? Or do you think it's something they just don't typically do unless the customer specifically ask for it? Kind of stuff in our house like that. Just all over the place. That's kind of just like hanging in the balance that I'm like, when are you gonna do that? You know, when's that gonna be? Do you have a date? <laughs> Nick will be like, uh, no, unfortunately I have got like a million things like that that I'm still doing. So Erin says every time she films in her bathroom, she has to crop that out because it's not fixed. So that's what's currently going on with Erin and Nick. What do you think about everything? Leave a comment. If you missed my video where Erin says the demon says mommy in her living room, go check it out next. I'll have it linked at the end of this video. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines. See you next time.